there, Simon from SimonWood.com. I have a couple of Rieslings uh, in front of me, and um, one's from uh, the Falks in Germany, and one is from whereabouts is it? In Mon Monterey in California. So um, I think that they're both going to be on that slightly off dry style. Um, and uh, so, which one shall I do first? Do them on alcohol. Uh, one's so the Walt Riesling from the Falks. Uh, is 11%. Yeah, Walt, Walt Riesling, 11% uh, alcohol, made by, uh, DR, bottled by DRP142463. You know who they are. What this is, it's, um, it's a wine that's been developed for the UK market by uh, one of the foremost uh, importers of German wine here. Um, and they, they used to be called Siegel. Now it's ABS Wine Agency. It's Awin Bar Barrett Siegel. And a jolly good job they do too. Let's see whether they've done a jolly good job with this wine. It smells gentle, juicy, uh, almost like a rose's lime juice, a little bit of that, of that character. But then there's a slightly broader, fatter, fleshier, um, getting into things like stewed rhubarb and a bit of, um, bit of cooked apple. God, it's making me salivate. Yes, it's got these rounded, juicy fruit flavours, uh, but then Riesling classic acidity, framing it all, drawing it in, keeping it, keeping it fresh. The finish you're left with has got, um, got a little bit of touch of sweetness. Uh, maybe even a touch of honey, but it's also got a stony character. It seems like there is a vineyard talking here, as well as a grape variety and a winemaker. So, nice wine, and uh, I think they, they say what should we be having it with? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Perfect partner to Asian cuisine, salads and seafood. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't disagree with that at all. Let's see what wine number two is like. So, this is um, from uh, Wente in California, and it's their 2014 Riverbank Riesling. Uh, from the Arroyo Seco uh, region in Monterey County. Let's give it a whirl. And this is um, starting to show that slightly petrol development that, that, uh, that Riesling gets. And um, it's one of those characteristics, I'm, I'm tasting, I'll be tasting the rest of the bottles, these two bottles with, uh, with some, uh, some people this night up at the pub. Uh, I often take bottles up to uh, compare notes with people. And uh, I think some of them will taste, they'll smell this and go, oh, that petrol's too much. But other people will be going, mm, that's really intriguing. I'm on the more intriguing side. It's still got some uh, uh, citrus, um, citrus flesh in there, a little bit of uh, floral character as well. Um, but uh, it's, yeah, classic developed Riesling. Quite rich, round, fat flavours. Um, touch of sweetness. One thing I noticed um, compared with the previous one, uh, the, I noticed extra flesh. It's almost as if the grapes have more power in the first place. Uh, not as much acidity. And so it may be that they, uh, if, if they'd left these um, grapes for the Walt Riesling out a little bit longer, it would have fleshed out. They would have, they would have got a little bit more sugar and less acidity. Uh, the Wente, uh, well, all the meanwhile, is, has got some sweetness. They're probably similar levels of sweetness. But it's got extra, uh, extra power from the alcohol and lower acidity. So it comes, for, it comes across as a, a, a rounder, um, juicier and um, more user-friendly wine. I, 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 this is the sort of wine I'd uh, happily sit by itself. The, the Walt with that little bit of um, uh, the tartness, a uh, bit more tartness. I, I, I want to have some food, some food fighting against that. But this one I would, uh, it's what I call cricket match wine. It's the sort of thing you want to sit outside on a summer's day. It's the end of November here, so it's hardly a summer's day. Um, and swig in large quantities. Uh, not too large, you understand, but it's 12.5%. It's not exactly uh, massive in alcohol, so maybe a good, healthily charged, at least a second glass. Uh, but both of them pretty nice. Uh, no, neither of them is great, but um, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd set into them and, uh, and enjoy them.